It is the day, today's the day. I'm getting my first treatments for my stretch marks. Super excited. I have 30 minutes to finish getting ready. Just finished my hair-ish. It's as good as it's gonna get. Um, so I am getting my first treatment done and I wanted to get this treatment done ever since, I wanted to get this treatment done ever since I started losing weight and it is finally time. I'm only doing my upper thigh today. You guys are gonna see that. I have some on my arms that you guys can probably see, um, but I noticed that the ones on my legs started to shrink. So I wanna see how much more shrinkage I'll get before I go and do my arms. Also, I have just a little bit of loose skin around my arms more than like um, other parts of my body. So I wanna see if I'm gonna, I actually, the treatment that I wanna do for my arms is different because of the loose skin. I want to um, see if I can get like, um, I think it's like micro needling with laser or something like that so that I can, it can tighten the skin as well as uh, resurface it so it gets rid of the stretch marks on my arm. Today is just the camouflage tattoo treatment. I'm really excited. A little nervous because I, um, I do not have time to be talking too much. I'm gonna try this out for the first time today. I don't know why it's taking me so long to try it. This is the Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Balm. Let me grab my mirror. I have it in number 11. Ooh. Okay. So, let's see. Hold on. Okay, this is actually gorgeous. It's like a tint. Okay. See, it just got rid of all my hypopigmentation around my nose. I don't know why I've gotten, I've been getting this, like I think it's tied to my autoimmune disorder. Yeah, because that's around the time that it popped up. I have a lot of hypopigmentation around my nose area. I don't know why, but this is pretty. Okay. I'm so sad because the Tinted Concealer was the best concealer, but my little tip, my um, applicator broke. I don't know what happened. It just came off. And Okay, let's just use this Tula one for today because I'm just, I can't be bothered anymore to look. Okay, so, anyways, the laser and the, what's it called? Laser and microneedling, so that it can tighten the skin on my arms and still like resurface the stretch marks. And then on my legs, my I don't really have loose skin around my thighs and stuff like that. Um. Why did I just blend out this concealer so quickly with this brush? <laughs> what the heck? This is the Makeup by Mario brush. I've been seeing everyone applying their concealers with brushes on TikTok, and I'm like, mm, cause I've never been a brush concealer girl, but I kinda like it. I kinda like it. And I'm so excited! I'm glad that I can take you guys on this journey with me of these beauty treatments because they're so hard to find for people with deeper skin tones. Like even trying to find like laser treatments, like you have to be careful because sometimes they're like, oh yeah, this won't work on dark skin. Um, but I have gotten some laser treatments done like this laser, I got this. Finally finished my last session of this, you guys. I'm so happy. Like I got my last session done a cup, like I think it was in November, late November, early December. So now I'm just waiting the couple of weeks for it to like fully heal and then I'm gonna go and repigment it. I'm so glad to have this ugly thing off my finger, my beautiful, beautiful ring finger. I'm so ready for it to go. Okay, I might have just been converted to a brush, girly. Oh my goodness. They might have got me. We're moving and grooving today. Nima's not playing. Well, actually, let me not get too excited. I haven't even done my brows yet, and we all know brows on me take the longest. Wow. Wow. I also need to do some shopping. I, I don't mind my laundry in the back. 
and my bed just looks like a crap show right now. Like I'm going to deal with my bed another time. But I need to go shopping because I literally cleaned out my closet before 2024 because I was like, nope, it's time for like an out with the old, in with the new vibe and energy. And then I realized I ain't got no clothes. <laughs> I literally only have active wear because nothing, first of all, nothing else fits me. Second of all, I just, you know, you grow out of styles and clothes. Um, so yeah, it's time for me to go shopping. I also have body dysmorphia, so I'm dealing with that right now. Um, yeah. Ah! Anyway, this was not supposed to turn into a whole long get ready with me. Powder, blush. Okay, I have a question for all my girlies out there that are in the dating field that are grown, okay? Cause I'm grown. I don't have time to be planning. I do want to date. I don't want to jump into a relationship. It's been two years. So I definitely know that I've taken my time. Um, and I've really like invested in like taking care of myself. I've done that. I've done that. I've done that well. And it's time for me to like entertain the idea of dating. Um, but I don't want to get into a relationship right away. I want to date, like I want to meet people, like I actually want to be like courted. I don't think I've ever been properly courted, which is something I'm really looking forward to. Um, and yeah, yeah, I've never really been like fully properly courted. So I'm really excited to see what that looks like and how that makes me feel. Um, brows. One hill I will die on, you guys. Using mascara for brows. I will die on this hill, especially, hear me out, waterproof mascara. Because when I was in Santorini, we went during peak summer. Like, it was hot as hell, okay? I was sweating everything off my face. Nothing stayed on my face. As soon as we walked outside, it was gone. Like, no makeup stayed on my face. Guess what stayed on my face, though? <laughs> my brows. My waterproof mascara brows. They look so good. And this is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in the shade Carbon Black, I think. Oh, this is how you know I am. Use this because I can't even read this thing. Oh, it says Black Noir. And it's the waterproof one. I don't know why. I just wear, I just do waterproof always. <gasps> I'm nervous. Y'all are gonna have to wish me luck. I am so nervous. I just hope like she can match my skin tone. Y'all wanna know a random show that I just started randomly watching? Um, Alchemy of Souls. I enjoyed it. I need to watch more shows like that. They had me messed up in part two when they changed the character. But my friend was like, just keep going. And I went and I kept going and I liked it. It was so good. I need to watch more shows like that. Those are my kind of shows. A little bit of action, a little bit of romance, a little bit of everything. <sighs> okay, I'm out. Wish me luck. I'm so nervous, but I'm so excited at the same time. I'm so excited. I, I'm just, I have high hopes. I have very, very high hopes. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's time. We're inside. I'm so excited. Alrighty guys, so this is what my stretch marks look, look like before the treatment. I actually was surprised when I went into the treatment. I thought this was a tattoo camouflage where she actually matches my skin tone. That was not the case. This was more so like, like almost like micro needling a little bit where you disrupt the skin and then it heals itself. And this was immediately after, not gonna lie, <laughs> I was a little scared because it looks insane and it looks crazy. I was genuinely very scared. But she was really reassuring. She said it's going to take up to six weeks to see full results. So I guess I'll do an update once I start feeling like I'm seeing results. Alrighty guys, it is 
the next day. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get to get, show you guys what they look like right after, but I did take pictures. Or I did take videos. I was not allowed to film, um, which is okay. I completely understand. Um, so I tried to get like as much like footage as I could right after, but I was exhausted and I had to run to another appointment. And I'm tired now. This is like literally the end of the second day. It's like almost 8 p.m. It's not, it's not even almost. It's almost 9 p.m. But I'm going to show you guys what they look like. So far, I haven't really noticed anything. I'm so tired. My skin is so dry. I'm about to hop in this bath. How do I do this? How do I? All right, here we go. Let's... So most of the swelling has gone down on the thighs. It's not like... It's not giving braille anymore. She said it looked like a brain. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is day two. Most of the swelling has gone down. I still see them. Um, I should have did my research a little bit more. I thought I was going into the tattoo. Um, I thought it was a tattoo. For some reason, I thought it was like the camouflage tattoo. But this, I think this was an actual treatment. Like, I like, think what she was putting into the lines was something else. So this is actually gonna take six weeks to heal. And there is like things that I can't do and can do. I can't go out in the sun, obviously. <sighs> Here we go, let's just do this. Can't go out in the sun. I think I'm supposed to stay away from bodies of water or something like that. But I'm about to get in my bath because I'm cold as hell. And she gave me like, treatments and stuff to like put on there um this is a vitamin d Ow! Fuck. i got the worst like i don't know how i did this but it's in the worst position ever also i just got my nails done they're french tip i'm going back tomorrow because i asked her to add a style or i asked her to do something to test it out and I don't like it so she's gonna go and redo it for me tomorrow love that for me um or not redo it she's just gonna go and remove it it's just they're too thick these are my natural nails and they don't need to be looking thick okay I don't know what I was thinking anyways she gave me vitamin A and D ointment and some sort of I think this is an oil stretch mark serum to put on I think she said put this on at night Apply the serum to treated areas at night before going to bed. So that's what I'm going to be doing today after I take a shower, after I do my bath, I'm going to apply the serum. So swelling has gone down. What I was saying was I thought this was like a tattoo cover up, like, cam like camouflage, tattoo camouflage, like she was going to actually match my skin tone and everything. So that's why I was super, super nervous in the beginning. I was like, what if she doesn't match it right? What if I come back looking worse than I do? now or worse than it does now and um it's, it wasn't that so they still look pretty normal they still look pretty much the same she said um after six to eight weeks or six weeks i should be able to see the results and that if i need another treatment then i will go and get another treatment and i'm praying that i don't need another treatment pain level up towards where my hip bones were like closer towards my hip pain was probably like a six seven-ish in just certain areas and then down towards where it's like lower on my thigh um probably like a two it wasn't extremely painful it took about like 40 50 minutes um and yeah i'm excited to see the results i mean i don't want to like jinx myself i feel like i'm already kind of like they still they still look the same but I genuinely feel like they're like less noticeable maybe. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna, I'm hoping I'll be one of those like lucky and blessed people that I only need one treatment. She said that she had people flying in from like Dubai, from South Africa, and I was like, what? <laughs> it's crazy, like flying in. She said that they would fly in on that long ass flight, get the treatment, head back to the airport and fly out. And I'm like, that's insanity. But I love that for you. Like, if you have the means to do that, I love that for you, but that is crazy. Actually, you know what? That's some shit I would do. <laughs> that is absolutely some shit I would do. I would like, if it was like someone that I feel like is the best of the best, I would research all other treatments that I wanted to get in a different country 
and I would fly in and get them all done. I absolutely would. Yeah, yeah. Okay, anyways, my beautiful people, I'm exhausted. And I am gonna go and take a bath, let my little garden gummy kick in, and watch a little bit of TV and go to bed. I really need to put my bed skirt back on my bed. I, <laughs> like, look at my bed. I've been so lazy about putting that bed skirt on. My bed used to be downstairs, then I moved it back upstairs, and I just haven't put the bed skirt back on, but I really need to put it back on because it just looks extremely disheveled without it. Love you guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I'm really hoping I'll give get good results because the reason why I wanted to film this too because I'm really like private about things that I feel like are cosmetics, cosmetic procedures and stuff like that because I'm like, you don't need them. So I don't want to like encourage someone or like make someone feel bad or like feel like they need to go and do something. I want to do it um, and I the research that I was doing I just felt like I wasn't seeing it on someone with like dark skin so I was like that's why I was because I wanted to do like the laser treatments and you know lasers and dark skin sometimes they just don't mix I don't know why they have not developed the fucking laser to do stuff like that on dark skin but they haven't so yeah I just wanted to you know if I can do my best to add some more information into the universe for people with deeper skin tones. That's what I'm here for. And that's what I wanna do. If you guys are comfortable and you guys want me to talk about other treatments or like procedures that I've had, cause I've had a couple that were really bad. <laughs> I've had some that were really bad that I instantly regret it. And I've had some that are like, oh my God, I'm never gonna not get this ever again. Like I'm gonna keep doing this. So if you guys wanna know more about those, let me know. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure I've gone to a place where I'm comfortable like sharing stuff like this I'm just very cautious of what I put into the world and I don't want to like I Don't want to encourage I know like some people are young that follow me too And I don't want to encourage you guys to think that you have to do stuff like this. I want you guys to remember I am 32 I I I think and 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 I think about altering or about doing stuff that might alter my appearance or anything like that. I think about all the possible outcomes and I weigh them out and I decide like, if this goes south, real south, will you be comfortable with that? And that's helped me like deter from like doing everything because there's certain things like if it goes south, I don't think I could live with myself like um, certain things that I just can't do like I'm so afraid of filler because it went south once before and, and I, mm -mm, mm -mm. I would need like to look a lot more sunken than I feel like I do I would need to look a lot more sunken for me to even consider filler at this point in my life but yeah anyways long story short I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it's a little short one but I just, like I said, I wanted to add in for more information than that was out there about stretch mark removal because it's like my biggest thing right now, especially on my arms. Um, I was talking to her too and she said that because I was going to get microneedling. I'm going to wait to do microneedling for my arms to help tighten my loose skin, which is not really that bad. Like I know I'm being extremely picky, but it has shrunk. Okay, so for the girlies out there that are losing weight and they're like looking at their loose skin like, oh my God, like it has shrunk since I've lost like the last little bit since I hit my goal weight like two months ago, maybe. Yeah, since I gave him my goal weight two months ago, I've definitely noticed the loose skin has definitely started like just shrinking away. And I love that. Like my arms are like, you can, it's still there, you know, but like, it's not bad. It's really not. And I'm like, okay, maybe I don't need that. So I'm going to, I'm like I said, I take my time. I think I process and I wait and I'm wait and I wait and I wait and I wait. There is a procedure that I got done recently that I sh could have gotten done 60 pounds ago. But you guys know me. 
I waited and I thought about it. I waited and I waited and I waited and I was like, you know what? I think it's best for me to wait until like I get to where I feel like I'm close enough to do this and then I'm going to do it. And best decision of my life. <laughs> best decision of my life. It looks so good right now. I'm still in like the healing process. Um, I'll let you guys know soon. Like, like I said, I'm very protective of my energy, you guys. And while I'm healing, I'm not, tell I'm not telling anyone. I'm just very protective. Like, I just don't, like, I don't tell people stuff. Even some of my, the people that are super close to me didn't know about it until, like, really recently when I was, like, finally comfortable sharing it. And I don't have to share it. I don't. <laughs> but some pe when people ask, here's the thing, too. Here's the thing, this is the one thing I don't like about the internet. I didn't get on here to rant, but one thing I don't like about the internet is I want to be an open book. I want to be able to like share and give information about stuff like this because it's so hard to find it for people with um, my skin tone. But the, the thing is like people will ask for information and then turn around and use that shit against you. And like I said, I, I think I've already mentioned this, I have body dysmorphia and I've had an eating disorder before when I was much younger and actually it, it stayed a lot longer than I thought it was gonna stay, like my eating disorder. And I'm not about to let anyone spiral me back into that. Like I'm not, like I'm just not, I'm so sorry. Like I'm, my body dysmorphia is really bad. It's something that I work, I fight against every day because Anyways, let's rant. <laughs> yes, my body dysmorphia is pretty bad. Like, even though I've lost weight, I still saw myself as like the girl, that girl from like 60 pounds ago. And, and I still see that, I still see her at times. I still see it at times. And I shouldn't because I know I'm just, it's the, it's, I'm just not there anymore. Like it's too far. The gap is too wide. I'm not there anymore. But my, my, my body dysmorphia makes me think that that's the case. And it's a constant thing that I have to like check myself. So when people make remarks about like people's bodies or like they like, like I just, just don't, just don't make remarks about people's bodies. You never know what someone's going through. And um, thankfully, I am a strong enough person that I have gone to a point where I know it, I recognize it, I know I have this. So I don't let it spiral me, but I just know that it's like it's there. So whenever I'm like, oh, I feel really like Ugh, today, I feel like, damn, I look big. I'm just like, relax. You're fine. It's just your body dysmorphia. You look the same as yesterday. You will be fine. I promise. So I've been able, like, I can talk myself down now versus like spiraling and then being like i need to go on a diet so yeah long story short be kind of the comments or else y'all are not gonna get no more of these videos and i will block you as i've always done i am quick with the block the mute the delete all of it i will block you and i will delete it because it's if you don't have anything constructive to add when someone's being so vulnerable about stuff that they don't have to be vulnerable about it's fuck you forever so all right, tubers. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys have a good night. Um, yeah. Bye.